material lies that he told us, neither one of which, had he told the truth, he would not have gotten a contract to do business. The first was that he would deliver by hand, in person, meet with us on January 20th at the Starbucks near our apartment in order to- They want that squeaky toy. He's got like a squeaky toy, don't he, Chopper? He's not a squeaky toy, Chopper. We do not chew him in squeaky. On the 20th of January, before we flew to Korea, and in fact, we received it on February 26th. So we didn't have the video set. Well, what happened at your wedding? The video actually went fine. You don't know what to think of him, do you? He's so little. I'm saying you were that little, but you never were. The first time I learned of that was in- Before or after giving him the $1,600? Immediately before. All right, well, how's the wedding go? Oh, great. Beautiful. Yes. All right, and then Tuesday comes, and what happens? Actually, on Sunday, the day after the wedding, the defendant, Mr. Kitroff, called me out of the blue to announce that he was in Mexico and that he would not, in fact, therefore, be delivering the video to me at the Starbucks on Tuesday, January 20th. He said instead that he would contact the cameraman, Bill Hart. Okay, so then we go right over and turn our calls, so we had to fly to Korea without the video. We were still desperately trying to contact both of them, both by email, which I have, and by phone, have the phone records. Did not hear back. Eventually, Bill Hart did call back my wife. And my wife- Before leaving to Korea? No, this was after we left. We were making all these calls from Korea. We were desperate. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, very stressed out about it and trying to come up with an alternative. What did he say to you in your phone call? What did he say to you? He suggested that he would post the video on- No, no, but when you said to him, hey, you know, we were supposed to get this Tuesday, what was his response? Well, he 